Ooh, okay. Game number three. Again on the map, Ker Andros against Mara and also Maurice. But unlike the last two times, I'm not picking a faction this time. And I will get to play with the <laughs> Isengard faction. You know what? I'm not even surprised anymore. Okay, the last two times I was picking Gondor and Rohan. And now we will get to play with the evil faction, which I believe is going to make it kind of difficult. Because again, it's not a big map, right? And the smaller the map is, the weaker the evil factions are. In order to snowball your lead into a quick victory, you actually need a lot of settlements, a lot of map control, which is going to be kind of difficult on a map like this. But of course, we will try our best to win this game anyway. So the good thing about the evil faction is you have those lumber mill workers and you can again kind of you know, you know use them as a scout to capture settlements so you don't need to walk to the settlement with your urukai you can do this with your worker and your urukai can be used to put pressure remember the uruks they are the strongest warpen in the game and with the war chant we can even make them stronger and that's the only reason why isengard is only one starting battalion unlike all the other factions in the game Yeah, offense is the best defense, you know? So, at this point, the Gondor player has to deal with my Uruks. Oh, he's placing the Alvin Wood. We don't want to fight here, so we can disengage. Okay, so we have three settlements outside. The Lumber Mills are very important. They are actually essential for the early game because they give us the Wood bonus, you know, making our structures cheaper. So we can fill up the bees a bit faster. So, the plan is to recruit Lourdes, of course. Lourdes is going to be important. I, for myself, I like to, you know, recruit my heroes early game. So, I can level them up faster. And they can reach the power spike to level 4, 5, way easier this way. Because the later the game, I mean, the longer the game goes on, the harder it is going to be to level up your heroes. Because your opponents will have upgrades like heavy armor and you need to shoot them multiple times. But at the early game... It's gonna be way better. And also, there are plenty of creeps on this map, so we can creep them. Oh, would you look at this? Hobbit went into the tower. It's fine. We have a good looking beast. It's amazing. We also need to recruit, of course, war riders, Uruks. And scout. Scout, scout, scout. Okay, so we have only two settlements left outside, but it's fine. We have a full beast. That's amazing. And Vork Pit coming up next. Run Uruks. I'm waiting for the War Chant. And I can, I can actually fight back a little bit. Okay, so um, scouting is important. Because that will give you information and increase your reaction time. Okay, Gondor is filling up the base with Blacksmiths. And I think Gondor had a good start into this game. I believe he has like three farms outside, which is amazing for Gondor. And I can fight this eventually with the War Chant. Okay, War Chant, come on, come on, come on, come on. Be ready. Nice. So use it and fight. Okay, let's recruit Lourdes now, the fighting Morukai. And then we're going to go for the Vorks right after. Okay, I won't let them capture this one, actually. Let's be annoying with the workers. So... Oh. Kite, 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 kite. No, no, no. Don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. Oh, don't buy it. Oh, okay, nice. Nice, amazing. Because I have, like, nothing to kill this farm yet. Because my works, they are not there yet. So I don't want them to capture this, you know? Beautiful. So we can recapture this. Not a, not a big deal. And we have now loots very early on the field. That's amazing. Because, again, that's going to give us the chance to creep the troll layer, get into level 3, that's going to unlock the carnage, which makes Lourdes to a monster. And he will get the chance to 1v1 pretty much almost every single early game hero. There is not a single one, maybe Faramir, Boromir, because if you don't know, in the patch 2.22, when you use carnage with Lourdes, you get immunity to knockback. So, you know, Lourdes can't be knocked down on the ground, which means carnage counters Boromir, just like Lourdes did in the films. Creep this. Let's use the cripple. Boom. Get level 2. Boom. 
And then we can I draw the sword. The men of Gondor. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, Knack. Okay, so. Keep pressuring up all the time. Oh, there is a Faramir. Oh, dude. Faramir, you know what's gonna happen to you, right? When I get to cripple you with my Lords level 3, you know what's gonna happen. You won't get the chance to show your quality in this game. Trust me, that one. Okay. I mean, you gotta be careful, though. Because I don't want to feed again, you know? Heroes, they are getting stronger the more levels they get. They have, especially leadership is very important in this game. And Farami is actually a very good leadership because of armor. Armor is a stronger stat compared to damage in many situations. You know, unless you are against Mordor, then you want to have damage leadership to kill the trolls faster. But armor, so you need to understand, 50% damage, army, you know, for example, you have like, let's think Lourdes. Lourdes gives 50%. He does give more, but... Just assume he's giving 50. And Farami gives 50% armor. The 50% armor leadership from Faramir is going to win those fair battles. So Uruk against Uruk. 50% armor. The other one has 50% more damage. The 50% more armor wins. Okay, so they are going for the heroes. I don't want to lose my work, so I've demolished my work pit, so I don't want to lose them. And boom, boom, boom. We are expanding, creeping. Oh, okay, hold on a second. My lord should be able to handle the situation. Oh, Faramir. Guys, 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 guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. You shall not move, Carnage. Let it be Carnage. One, two. Holy... It's popping off. Okay, disengage. Don't lose Lourdes for no reason. Amazing, dude. You gotta love Lourdes. And that's the reason why Isengard is only two heroes. Because Lourdes counts as three. Towering up, you know, just to feel a bit more safe. Industry helping quite a lot, and we can now finally make the combos. Okay, so Isengard combos are very strong because the Uruks in the front they are tankier compared to soldiers or peasants. And with the war chant, we have every few minutes the 50% damage in the armor buff. And this combined with the Lord's leadership with 60% more DPS, we can have more than 100% damage output, which again means we are hitting twice as hard. Okay, and then also levels mean a lot. So you know, you need to understand, you need to keep your units throughout the entire game protected. You don't want to lose a whole battalion because they are not only very expensive, but also each level makes them significantly stronger. So a level 10 unit is so much stronger than a level 1 unit. And keeping them alive is crucial. Okay, so... Nice. No problem. Again, the, the problem here is for us, though, is that we have an open base, right? Uh, the last two times we are playing with Gondor and Rohan, we had, like, walls protecting us. And until they bring the siege weapons like Ains or Trebuchet, we don't have to be worried about our castle. But when you play Isengard or Mordor, you have an open base, and they can enter whenever they want to. So we need to kind of make sure to leave something in the base for protection, like a couple of pikemen, uh, for a potential rush with the knights of Gondor. Okay, we gotta disengage. You can see the war chanted works with the whole ability and upgrades are hitting like a truck. You can demolish this. Lords can creep this even more. Get to level 6 that unlocks the pillage. And that's the beauty of Lords, right? He has like everything you actually need in a hero. You know, cripple, carnage, leadership, pillage. He can make you bang. He can cripple enemy heroes. He's a nightmare to deal with. He's putting so much pressure just because of his existence. And even level 1. He has the cripple, which can, you know, pretty much like Aragorn from Rohan, for example, or Legolas, or Gandalf. They cannot play the game, as long as Lourdes is around. Can I get the money? Oh, I didn't get the creep, I think. Okay, I mean, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, we need to recruit pikemen, because Gondor is spamming knights, so we need to count it as rock, paper, scissor system. We have the middle camp now, that's even better. We have actually a very good looking money too, I mean map control. The middle camp, the outpost top, so we should be in a good spot. 
and I don't want to waste too much time. I want to siege them before they get too strong for me to deal with. Again, the only advice, I mean, there are many advices I can give to those guys, but one of them has to be that they need to play a bit more as a team. Ooh, okay. I mean, that's good for them, though, because they are splitting now knights and elves, but my Uruks... Okay, that's a big misplay from Mara. You, want, you don't want to give me the chance to cripple you for no reason. Trample. And the elves have no heavy armor yet, so they are very vulnerable against my Vorks. And she needs to draw the sword with the elves when I trample, because then the elves will get immune to trample. Okay, so... I mean, we need to give them banner so they can respawn over time. Many Knights of Gondor. Uh oh, hopefully they won't come to us. My pikemen, what are you doing? Okay, let's hope that they won't come. Oh, they are coming. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, I need to watch on this. I need to watch on this. Okay, I mean, luckily we didn't die from this, but I can also cover the land. My own thing, the land. So this is my land now. Okay, so, you know, it was kind of awkward, the situation. Let's build tow towers and furnaces. And I want to also, you know, recruit Saruman, the White Wizard. That's also very important. But we need a bit more time for this. I mean, the money is going to kick in very soon, though. Because, again, we have a good-looking map, you know. Two, uh, one outpost, one camp. Industry being quite helpful. And Lourdes is also almost level 6. It's going to be even better. We can also buy this one. Just why not? And pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Use the wars for the map control. Get more settlements, the more the better. Isengard can make bank, but also Isengard needs a lot of cash. The units from Isengard are so expensive. Crossbowmen, they cost 400 each. Uruks, they cost 200 each. Heavy armor, forge plates, you know, banner, fire arrows. They're, they're so expensive, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I mean, oh, that's gonna fall. Because they have upgrades, so they don't take too much damage from my towers. Unfortunately, I will lose this outpost. So I should be making one, one pikeman, I think, and send it to the outpost. But the problem is, uh, Rohan has elves, and fire is one of the biggest weaknesses of the pikeman. Again, the, in this game, they are doing much better compared to the other games we played so far on this map. But maybe it's also because I'm playing the evil faction, and uh, I don't know. They will... Oh, soldiers. Okay. Um, I mean, we can finish this outpost first. Uh, you see? You see? Elves coming. Yeah, the teamwork. Now, that's... I like that. That they, are, that they are doing this. That's very good, actually, from them. Okay, I mean, they're learning. That's gonna become more interesting. Okay. So, for that reason, I want to siege... ESCP is destroyed the outpost. Okay, so almost enough money for Saruman. I mean, not really, but I will get the money very soon. Trust me, that one. Outpost destroyed. Okay, so we need to send one of the Vorks to the soldiers. They're gonna be annoying. But again, the same situation here. You know, swordmen are vulnerable against Cav, so we can trample and knock them down. Oh, tower guard standing by. Okay. So you don't want to run into them. But again, we can now just go ham with the ram. <laughs> go ham with the ram. Knock, 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 knock. Who is that? Isengard. Isengard is now your new master. The white hand would be proud, boys. But they are coming from the top. Oof. So if they want to go for my base, um, I have pikemen there. I can put the pikeman there, the bridge, and tower up. If they want to go to my base, I think I'm fine with this, because I have a middle camp and literally two outposts. I mean, I have, I will have two outposts now, so I won't be defeated, even if I lose my castle. Because I'm not very mobile, but I, as long as the elves are not coming, we should be in a good spot. Okay, Saruman is coming too, that's even better, and we are almost about to break in. Okay, let's go in, boys. 
Let's go in. Let's go in. Okay, we have three combos and two fight men. And Saruman can level them up too. March to Helm's Deep. Ooh, okay. Um, let's spam Berserkers, I guess. Okay, so that's gonna be a beast raid, boys. It's all about time. Okay, we need to go ham now. The problem is they are not committing. I can't recruit only pikemen. But what what is she what is she doing? She's running into my into my bees. You don't want to do this. You want to you know fight front to back, front to back. Because Isengard bees is very durable. Level three furnaces are hitting like a truck. So you gotta be careful and also very tanky. Level three furnace has actually like almost six thousand health. So you need to shoot it for a while to destroy it. Okay, so we need to be still careful. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's fighting with the swords. The elves, they are going crazy. What was Aragorn screaming, boys, in Helm's Deep when, you know, when they were throwing the swords, the elves, and marching forward? Okay, you don't want to trample. You want to, you know, just stop before you trample and fight them in melee. You don't want to, tra you don't, you don't want to trample stuff that is immune to be trampled. Because not only they will... They won't take any damage from the trample, but also they will deal damage to you in return. If this Gondor doesn't have an outpost, he will be defeated, by the way. But I'm, su I'm sure he has the outpost top right. I'm sure about, about that. It was a rain now, let's use it immediately. No, he didn't have an outpost! Maurice has been defeated! <laughs> okay, and my beast won't even fall! Isengard, finally taking the revenge from the films. Defeating Gondor and Rohan at once on the map Ker Andros. And winning this 2 with one challenge once again. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you do, if you did, make sure to leave a like to this video. And also let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.